to find another reptile that's very active during spring, I've come inland to the disused Anglesey Central Railway line that used to run from Amlwch Port to Gairwen. I'm meeting local naturalist Oswin Williams, who knows this patch well. On him up, I've been at this morning, that had a good pot that's a bit more than we pair out, I got to Pop man doing good pots in that, you know. Ar hyd yr arfordir mae o'n i'n gwybod o'n lefyd da yn y mewntir y fyd. O, mae hwn o'n i'n o'r llefyd gorau'r yn y smon. I gweld nhw'n mynd â nifer oedd y ddychel iawn yma. A, wyt ti'n nabod y patsi yma wella neb dwi'n gweld hwnnw'n lai? O, dwi'n cerdad hwnnw'n ddyddiol. Dda'n treulio o'r i arwsos yma. The line's been close 30 years. Yeah. And been left to go wild. So they've been left alone and the numbers are very high here. There's a, a good source of um, food here. There's lizards, there's mice, there's frogs, there's little birds everywhere. So um, there's a variety for them. One thing I've never seen, Oswin, is, you know, when the male adders come together to, to wrestle, re dancing adders, it's top of my bucket list. I've never seen it. Well, we're in the right time of year now, between uh, April and May. I can't see anything, Oswin, but... There's something going on. I can hear sounds. I can hear noises. No. Yes, 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 certainly, yes. That's the, the, I found the easiest way to find them. Is when I'm walking along these places where I know they are. Sometimes I don't look, but I put my ear uh, to, to ground, you could say. And I can hear them going underneath the undergrowth. So it's, it's moved first. I heard it here. Yes. There's a the sound yeah. over there, right in the middle of the bramble somewhere. Yeah. Now they can travel there. A huge base of area in in, in few seconds. Yeah. It's amazing. I think what's interesting is when we started, it was still very hot. Yes, but it's cool to bit now. And now you can hear more life. There's activity going on yeah. now. They're coming out where it was too warm for them before. Yeah. So they'll come from undercover now. It's great time. It's not long before we see our first male adder moving through the vegetation, and it's not hanging about. Males rely on their exceptional sense of taste and smell to guide them towards any female in their vicinity, so this one must be on to something. Following its movement along the track, it settled near another male. Oh, there's another male retreated there now. That's the other male going. We've just stumbled across here now. Two males. They tussled a little bit. You know, I was expecting a tango, a proper, proper tussle, but it wasn't. The big male pushed the other one down, and the other one, being small, has just retreated into the vegetation here. But the amazing thing is, all this was going on about a metre from Oswin here, and they were paying him no attention whatsoever, none at all, just so focused on each other. And the other male, he was quite a bit smaller, wasn't he? Yes, he's gone. He was pushed down once and broke his heart and left. Poor lad. Yes. <laughs> More male adders are appearing, suggesting there's a good chance that there's a female nearby. So Oswin and I split up to have a look for one. I don't believe this. Oswin's gone on just to look for some more adders and I was just about to follow him. And then something caught my eye up on the bank here. There's a big male, quite a big male adder working his way down really fast. I thought, hello, he's angry, we're going to fight now. But what he's done is he's found another female. She's tucked up up on the bank there, curled up, and he's now curled up right on top of her, preparing to mate, I suspect. I can't see particularly well. They're in the tall vegetation in there. But I can see him caressing her with his body, with his head. Beautiful. They're both stunning, stunning animals. Because they mate when they've just sloughed, when they've just shed their skins. And they're in pristine condition. Really, really lovely. And every now and again, I can see the heads. It's just every now and again. I see both heads. Now they're both looking out this way. And every single ladder I've seen here today, and it must be, must be something like five or six by now, 
every one of them, you know, they've all just sloughed and they're all shiny, really beautiful. Don't move, don't move. There's another smaller male adder. I'm not going to move, he's just coming. He's maybe about two metres away. I think he, he's probably been drawn in by the smell of the female as well. I believe this is curled up. There's a nice exposed bit here. It's out of the wind, but it's in the sun. So it's not often you get the opportunity to get this close to them without disturbing them in any way or form. And just, just watch them. He's be yeah, there. We are. He's just starting to move away now. Off he goes, unraveling himself. Yeah, he's off. He's off. He's off. I thought for a minute he was going to come right next to my foot. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind. I've got to be honest, he's not here to bite me or anything like that. He's just he's just looking for a mate. That's all that he's doing. But isn't that amazing? I'm watching mating adders up there, and I've got a male adder. Well, he's just gone now, but just down here. Cracking animals. They really, really are. Are those two still up there? Yeah, they're still up there. Shame of it is I can't see them clearly, really. And I suppose it's appropriate, really, that it takes place out of sight. But, um, a brilliant day.